If 2024 wasn't all you'd hope for, I've got good news for you. According to market analysts, in 2025, this market will come alive. And even better news is for the agents that are prepared to take advantage of it, they will have some of their best years ever. I'm Brett Jennings, and for the last 10 years, I've been helping average agents achieve above average success and great agents achieve outstanding success. In 2021, I set a goal to help five agents make their first million in real estate, and I'm proud to say we actually helped 13. But what also happened is by setting that goal, I helped over 14 agents earn over 500,000 and another 15 agents that year made over 250,000. And inadvertently, we achieved another major milestone in real estate to become the first team in California to sell over a billion dollars in a single year. So if you're watching this right now and you want to make 2025 your best year ever, you've got to get five things right. And I'm going to go over them quickly right here. Number one, you've got to get your mindset right. And that includes first choosing a positive mindset. Let's face it, real estate is hard. If you're in this game and you're wanting to grow, we confront negativity and rejection every single day. And to overcome that, you have to choose and cultivate a positive mindset every single day. Secondly, you have to be growth minded. Our recent industry shakeup with this Department of Justice lawsuit proves that nothing in this business stays the same. You've got to be constantly learning and growing and elevate your game if you want to go and grow to the next level. And when it comes to being growth minded, there's four core beliefs that you need to have firmly in place, which we will actually cover in our next video. The second thing you got to get right once you get your mindset right is to get your habits right. To pursue big goals requires you keep your energy high and your attitude positive, And that starts with a powerful morning routine. The next habit you've got to cultivate and the often most overlooked factor by struggling agents is building the daily habit of making time to connect with clients, prospects, and leads. This one's the linchpin. And if you don't ground your business in this habit, honestly, you're kidding yourself. I think Jim Rohn summarized this best when he said, goals without discipline is the beginning of delusion. So to grow your business, you've got to have a powerful daily and weekly routine that starts with business development. The third thing you've got to get right is your systems. Great systems help you do more and do it more consistently, and that all starts with a powerful CRM. The right CRM used the right way will tell you who you need to call, what to say, and how to follow up. Great systems also includes having a standard process and how you work with buyers and how you work with sellers from A to Z so that it's repeatable, consistent, and it's a necessary component to set you up for number four. The fourth thing you've got to do if you really want to have your best year ever is get your support right. 80% of real estate is $35 an hour work. And if you do all that work yourself, you only have 20% of your time for what I call high value activities. And you'll never get to those bigger income goals. So the first thing you're doing when getting your support right is that first level assistant, which for many agents is the transaction coordinator. But you don't just want a TC. You want someone who's going to love on your clients and that's what we call client care. That's someone who's not just gonna check boxes to make sure your documents and forms are in order, but someone who's actually gonna love on that client and hold their hand through the entire process as an extension of you. So you can do high volume and be high touch. The other part of support you've gotta get right is having a great marketing assistant or team to grow your big business. You need to constantly remind everyone in your database that you're in the business because the size of your business is directly proportional to the number of people that know you're in business. And if you're trying to do all this by yourself, when you get busy, the first thing that falls off the plate is your marketing and you're back on that real estate roller coaster of having a good month and then a bad month. Sound familiar? Well, the last thing you've got to get right is your environment. And there's a truth in life that your life, the level of income, enjoyment, passion, fun, relationships, is the equivalent of the five people you spend the most time with. And that's why it's so important that if you want to go to the next level, you surround yourself with people who are already at that level. For me, one of my goals was to sell 100 homes a year. And guess what? There was no one in our area who had ever sold 100 homes in a year. So what did I have to do? I had to go outside our market to get into relationship with people who were selling two, three, 400 homes a year. And guess what? It worked. I was sat in rooms with people selling three and 400 homes a year that weren't any smarter than I was. And somewhere inside my own mind, I thought, you know, they're not any different than me and I can do this. And I did. So 
Here's the deal. Getting all this right sounds like a lot of work and it's a lot to cover in this short video, especially if you have to go out and create all this yourself. But guess what? I've got good news for you. You don't have to. This is exactly why I created the Five to Thrive video series and boot camp. So over the next five weeks, we'll be going a little deeper on each of these five elements you need to get right to make 2025 your best year ever. And if you really want to guarantee your success, you'll have an opportunity to join us live in person here locally in December 12th for our Five to Thrive in 25 boot camp. We hope to see you there. Keep watching and we'll talk soon. Until we talk again, this is Brett Jennings saying don't just be an agent, be the expert. Have a great one.